everyone. Okay, so today I'm super excited because on my Twitter, people have been blowing me up all week asking for what's my purse video. But guys, typically don't wear purses. Thank you for the guy at TGI Fridays who pointed that out to me. So I found something better for you guys. I'm going to do a what's in my sack video. So I'm going to go ahead and explore my big sack with you guys. And I got all sorts of great stuff in here. Okay. So the first thing, obviously you guys know me is a Rubik's cube. Okay. It's very colorful. It's very vibrant. And if I start to doze off, I can just go like that and look at all the pretty colors. And it, it kind of wakes me up. I've tried to um, go ahead and solve it a few times, but I end up just switching around the, the stickers. But that's beyond the point, and we don't really care about that because this is a video and I can just erase that part out. So the next thing is this. Oh, the places you'll go. Um, my mom always told me that I wasn't going anywhere in life, so I bought myself this book, and it's a glittery edition, so it's pretty, 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 and I keep it with me at all times. And anytime I think I'm not really going anywhere, I just open it up, and it's all the places you'll go, and I get to travel everywhere. It's really good for buses and taxis, and whenever I'm, like, you know, going somewhere, it, it seems to fit the moment. So this is one of my favorite books of all time, and I really, really love it. Next is this. Okay, I call him Monsieur Teed, and um, originally I had told the stuffed animal guy that I wanted an exact replica of Teedy, but obviously he couldn't do that because Teedy's a real live dog, but I'm trying to get him stuffed, and there's some legal issues I can't really deal with, but this guy is supposed to look like Teedy, but he doesn't. Okay, he looks like a bear with no nose, which is a little disturbing, but it's all I got. So I keep him in my purse because I was keeping Teedy in my purse, and the police stopped me one time, and my purse started growling, and it was horrible. Um, my next thing is a really important, it's another dog, and it's pink. And whenever I forget what color pink is, I have this dog because it says pink on it. And then whenever I'm feeling really sad, I turn him around and it says happy. So I turn my dog around and I get really happy and it's really cute. And I, I don't know where I got him, but he's really hard. I don't know what's wrong with him. Next thing would be this. Oh gosh, thank you Santa. Santa brought me this. It's an ice watch. I was always listening to radio and like rappers, I shouldn't say black people, Shh. but they're always saying, I'm so icy, and I, I always kind of wanted to be icy. So I tried sitting in my freezer, freezer, blah, freezer, free, free bird, freezer. I tried sitting in my freezer, that's the word, and um, I got icicles on me, and then my, my fingers started turning black, and my toes started turning black, and I was like, I don't want to be that icy, I can't really be a rapper, but I later found out it was kind of like a frostbitten or something like that. Anyway, I found this, and it's an ice watch. So I can put this on, and I instantly get icy, and it's the perfect amount of ice. I just glisten. Okay, so what's next? So, The Hunger Games. Oh, there's a second book, and it's perfect for when you're flying, you're in a taxi, you're on a bus, you're just traveling with dirty people, because you don't really want to touch them to play a physical game. So these are Hunger Games. So you can open it up, find a game, ask them what kind of food they like, and just go from there, and it's absolutely great, and it keeps you from touching the, the street people of LA, who I hug but only once a year when I give them my basket of hope, knapsack of hope. Next in my sack is a screwdriver. This is really important because my mom and dad used to always tell me I was screwed, so I bought a screwdriver because anytime I'm in a pickle, I can stab my way or screw my way out of it. You know what I mean? So it's a really great tool to have in my purse, and I really recommend that all the young girls out there go ahead and buy yourself a screwdriver and keep it with you at all times. Preferably a Phillips head, not a flat head. No one likes dull people. So... The last thing in my purse is a five hour energy drink. This is really, really important because sometimes I don't feel like I'm talking fast enough and I start to lose my steam, so. Ah! So sometimes I, I just take it and I, I, I start going. I start going really, really fast and then I can just, you know, I like chug it and then drop it and hey everyone, hey, so here's my video. And I just kind of spaz out like this. And um, then my sack is also in my sack. I, I prefer this sack because it's colorful, festive. It's great for winter. Um, everything's so dull blue and white in winter, and I like adding some color and festivity to my sack. It's kind of like a little Mexican sack. Um, the last thing I already took out of my sack is this. This is the box, the box of my life, because TD came in this box. When I ordered him from Kmart.com, he came in this box, and he was, like, chewing through the paper. Do you see that? He was chewing through, trying to get out, but the box wouldn't let him out, and he got to me, and now I have the best dog in the world, and I couldn't have done it without Kmart and TD and the paper and the box. So I kept the box. And um, this is my box and I absolutely love it. Um, last thing I always use is, um, everyone should keep one of these in their sack. I have a bed because I never really know where I'm gonna end up. And sometimes like, if you look in my bed, I have another bed in there and then I have some toys and then I have, oh, that's not supposed to be in there. And um, you know, it's just really fun because you can literally go anywhere. You can be walking down the street and be like, oh, I'm tired, I should get a nap. And then you just like, 
pull out your bed, go to sleep, and you wake up and there's like four dollars and change in front of your bed and you can like go eat again. It's really, really awesome. And I don't really know what you guys keep in your sack or a bag if you're a girl, which is so stupid. I don't know why girls carry purses or bags. It's just one big sack and sacks are for guys. So I want to know what you guys keep in your sack. Okay, so leave in a comment down below in my box. I want you to tell me what you keep in your sack or your bag or your purse and it's really cool. I want to know, do you guys keep any of the same things in my sack? Do you keep a screwdriver in case you get screwed? So I hope you guys enjoyed looking into my sack. I want to see what's in yours. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more sack related videos. I love you guys very much. Bye!